Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. I do think that I should definitely have some stuff built around the houses before I go starting on another one. So like definitely having a car stuck out the front like that seems like a good idea. We've got a few to choose from there in the in the um, the mod section, in the, uh, the build section. So we, we've got a few different options so I can put cars out the front, um, little things like that. And at least have a footpath and maybe a small bit of lawn or something but then beyond that what do we do like how much do I do before I go to the next one I don't want to leave all of the house like the, obviously the base build when we put those up they put out a whole load of tarmac um, there's quite an area around those houses when I put them down I noticed and we're going to have to take that into account. So we probably won't be building a town that's got lots of houses close together. I'm thinking now that we've seen how they perform, most of the houses that we build will be sort of shifted slightly further apart and we'll work on it like that. Um, we'll make the assumption that each house does have to have quite a, a, a large area around it. I mean, that's not going to be a bad thing because it's going to give us a... Um, sort of an outline for the garden and so on for each house that we want to build and I think that's a good thing I, you know give us room to put in the swings and the play sets and, and things like that for the children and everything else really doesn't it like we've got the whole lot I could do with a second tractor couldn't I if I had a second tractor I would be able to like, I can set one doing stone picking, and then I could have a second tractor going over and doing, uh, or, you know, getting started on the planting, something like that. Because I've got to do the stone picking before I can do the planting. Not quite sure how we're going to uh, play this out yet. The reason I'm planting this, I'm going to plant it all with grass for now, so that we don't have to worry about buying too much. Okay, that takes quite a while to lower back down again. The reason that I'm planting all of this with grass is because it's going to be the easiest and simplest one for us to harvest and we'll be able to make a load of money out of it because we can dump that straight into the fermenting silo from here. We're really close to the fermenting silo anyway and the money we get from selling the silage will be quite reasonable especially off of an area of land this size this particular playthrough i wasn't thinking i may have i don't know if i said that i was going to previously but i'm thinking now that um i'm not going to worry about uh, having to have things organic we can have non-organic stuff if we want to this cultivator is going to have to come up here I'm not going to try and ram that back through again, so I'll just bring it up to here. And I will park the cultivator right there. Like that. And I can head back. Let's have a look and see. At the moment we have, for stone pickers, we've got these options. And actually, with the tractor we've got, that's probably the best one to have. That's 2.7 meters wide. That's point, oh no, that's point 0.9 cubic metres. This one here, I think, is probably the best one to have. And we can have the increased speed as well. 25k. I'm going to buy that one because it's only 3,400, so um, it's not going to break the bank at all. Oh, that cultivator is leased, isn't it? So we'll return that one straight away so that we're not paying for it. The plough. Return that one. I'm done with that for now. Okay. And... Oh, wait. No, there was one other thing I wanted to check. So I want to go over to here. I want to go there. I should have ploughed that one, and I want lime on that one. Should have ploughed that before I returned it. All right, never mind. I'm just going to leave that one as it is. It's already planted with grass, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, there is a bit of a, a bonus you get from the ploughing, but it's not huge. So we won't worry about it too much. Next on the list, I need to take that one and 
I don't know if this stone picker can be used with hired help. That's something that is going to be found out very shortly. But what we can do is we put it on the front of the tractor. And that's what I like about it. I use this one in the time-lapse series, actually. Although that one, I drive around the fields backwards using it. So if I, I haven't actually tried. Because I can only drive around the fields backwards with that one. Because I don't have any front links on any of the tractors on that one at the moment. I don't know if this is going to work like this. I'm hoping it will. But we will see. So first up, let's bring it that way. I think the hired help will work following along any of these lines. Actually, I'm going to have the line going up there. And I'll go from that bit. So it's going to go along that line there. Go that way. And in fact, I don't think that will. I'm looking, and you see on the mini map, you can see the arrow, the direction that I'm facing. And so that, I think it's the cardinal directions that the hired help will go. Whether or not this one. Ooh! Right, I've literally just pressed H, I haven't done anything else. And it's turned it straight on, it's done everything that it's supposed to do, and it is working properly. So that one's. That one's working fine there. How well it's going to cope with turning against the trees and stuff, I don't really know. We'll find that out. But this is where the slow moving... This is, this is the... You no, know, the, the slow is... The, the slowness is, is going to be a problem for us. This is what's going to irritate me. I mean, that works fine there. And he does back up. I could... I'm going to have to go around the edge a little bit myself, I think. But this will... This will cover most of it. This will do most of what we want. Alright. That one's working. I am actually about to take a break from recording, so when I speak to you again in a second, it will be quite some time later. Uh, but I'm thinking that maybe the next thing we do is we get the tree harvester. We could certainly remove those three trees along there and maybe a couple of the other ones along this top side that are close to this field. The deciduous trees down in that corner, I'm going to leave them. And I'm probably going to leave those down in that bottom corner as well because I would like some trees left standing. Uh, we are living in a forest and I, li I like the idea of our town being built around the forest rather than clear felling and destroying the entire place. So I kind of think that we'll do that as well. Alrighty then. I don't actually remember what I was doing just as I left, because I've got to check. Oh, I need to pick up the stones, don't I? Yes, of course, I was I was actually working on the stone picking. Um, I've got a whole load of new mods, so I didn't figure there was much point in me pretending to be doing anything other than just changing things over here. Um, there was one or two trees around the edge that I thought I was going to remove, wasn't there? And we were also in the middle of doing the stone picking. So I'm just going to set the hired help going on there a second. Doing that. Right, that's fantastic. He's going to carry on and do that. He's doing that at a lovely speed as well. I like that. I like how fast he's going with that. And we are going to do a little bit of tree felling. We'll remove some of these trees along the side. Uh, we'll do that in just a second, though. I want to take a quick look in here. I got some more um, buildings. So there's factories. I don't think there is any under factories. There is a donut factory. I'm sort of, uh, I quite like the idea of using the donut factory. There's also an empty pallets production, which gives you uh, empty pallets production, I think, gives empty pallets, furniture, and wood chips. And then the empty pallets can be used over here for these new greenhouses um, here. So you've, you've got the standard greenhouses in game. And then there's some extra ones that have been added. And then you've got these. You've got small greenhouses, water seeds, fertilizer, and empty pallets are required to operate the greenhouse. But I believe that you end up getting more stuff back. So we've got to put fertilizer and stuff in for those. Now, if we're going to put fertilizer in for those... There's also a factory for producing solid fertilizer from other things. So we've got a whole mix of different things that we can start sort of using and integrating with each other. So everything all kinds of kind of like joins in together. Um, I'm going to worry about it too much at the moment. But 
it's all it's all here anyway. We, we've got all of these different ones that we'll be able to use, and some of them are absolutely fantastic. Uh, farm production, TMR, but any, any, anyway, yeah, so um, th there's those, and then we've got generators, is it under? Yeah, we've got a whole load of stuff under generators now. There's commercial investment properties, and we're looking at some big stuff like this. So this means this, JJ has given me some links to some more of these, and these are absolutely fantastic. So we've got all kinds of different buildings that we will be able to use, and we can make a commercial district we can make a industrial district and we can have our town properly being built like we'll be able to get all kinds of things going on with these various different ones that we've got and there's a whole selection of different houses that have been that he gave me um, details for as well I think some of it still comes under decoration um, the some of the houses were under decoration and they're still providing an income though and then there's other houses, but that's just a decorative object. So I've got some of them that are just decorative objects. We've got the ground stains mod as well. You can add those in, but they do level out the, the, the ground, which is a little bit of a nuisance. And then we've got the commercial properties as decorative items as well, which I think is quite cool. Uh, where was the, you know, we've got some of these here. So you've got apartments and so on. Um, it's the the ones that we used already. I don't know where they've gone. It's under decoration. I found them. So there's the original ones there. All of those. But then we've also now got a whole load of others under production generators under here. And we've got all of these extra ones here. So... We've, we can build all kinds of things here now. We, we've, there's a load of houses. Well, there's a small selection of houses as well. Uh, these are more sort of US, Australian style than European style houses. But, I mean, we could... Some of them you could sort of class as European style houses, I suppose. We can, we can get away with this. We, we can figure something out with this, right? We, we, we've got a lot of different things that we can do, and I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do, before I get too carried away with anything, is we've got our two houses right there. And one of the big things that I wanted was a road that comes down to here. Now, if we go into farmland, I'd like to start that road sort of from about this point here... We travel down here. That means we don't have to buy up 17, which is 87,000. Um, we just need to buy that one area there for 239,000. I know that's not cheap, but we can sort of start building our road in a straight line down through here. And then that will carry on in a straight line down through there as well. It means that we won't have to go out round this way over the tougher terrain to negotiate we should just be able to come in here and this is where the bulk of our trees will be coming out to start with anyway so i want to go and take a look at that and what i was going to do how are you doing you're 480 liters at the moment we'll leave that one carry on there oops i need to go to here because i've parked the scrambler over here out of the way didn't i didn't i didn't sell it did i where did I put the bike? Does anyone remember where I left our bike? Oh, this is awkward. I had it here somewhere. I thought I just left it with the, the park bit on so that I could use it. Maybe I sold it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I might have sold it. It was under cars, wasn't it? Uh, there, Lizard Scrambler. Oh, I don't have one. I sold it. Well, I didn't actually remember selling it, but still. Okay, yeah, we, we, we could get that one. I won't get that one. What I was going to do was I was going to try and set a line down to where we want to go using like a small plow or something so i was thinking that maybe we could set up something now i haven't actually tried this one and i thought this one would be quite a cool one just to take a quick look at 
but it doesn't seem to attach a standard. Oh, okay, we can have a three-point link on it. So if we can do this with a three-point link, we can do it. Uh, so I'm going to lease this one for just 328. Yes, okay. And then I'm going to get a plow in here. And I'm going to lease a cheap plow. So there's one there for 9,000. The one that I use in the um, time lapse series is this one. 800 All right and i go to there we will increase the working speed to 22 is it 22 we'll increase the working speed on there and we'll lease that one for 40 euros just like that there and now i can go and take these two bad boys and we'll go and set up at the point where we can start sort of plowing a line because what i Okay. I'm not sure how well this is going to work out. What I'd like to do... Oh, and by the way, I had the... Um, okay, yeah, see, that's like right down on the ground already. I had the... Uh, I, I, I was trying to get cultivators up here so that I could start doing... Um, uh, making a field using the cultivators. Uh, but I may not have had the cultivator create field mod actually active when I thought that I did. And I've turned it on now so that if we want this again in the future, we'll be able to use it. But yeah, that, that, that might have been all down to me make, making a, a, a rather silly mistake. So the bit that I wanted to start from, we've got our houses over here. And I want to take this in a straight line. And this, this is going to be the difficult bit, is getting this in a straight line going in the right way. So I want to bring it up through to... Basically, I want to go to about here. This, I think, is the, the right point to start, but we've also got to get the angle just right. So I think it's going to be about there. So now if we go and have a look here, that in a straight line is pretty much... That's where we want to go, isn't it? Right, we can make the map quite big here and use that, which is handy. So I'm going to go off the edge here a little bit. And then we will allow create fields. And I want this to go in a straight line. Now, oh, I don't have the GPS on it, do I? I should have put the... That's what I should have done. I should have put the GPS on. All right, this... Although this plow is... Uh, not the plow. Although this uh, little tractor is actually pretty cool. I like it. Uh, it's not what we want for this. So we're going to unhitch that one. Just like that. This isn't going to be suitable for what I want to do here. We're going to need a GPS for this one. We're going to want to line this up dead straight on GPS. And we need to keep that line going in that dead straight line. So I'm just going to skip off that one. Lovely little mower, tractor, garden tractor type thing right there that we could use. We're not going to. So I want to go there, small tractor, and I want to return that one. Yes, okay. And then I want to go back to tractors. We can do this with a small tractor. We'll pick out a small one. Um, something that we've not really used before. Uh, I do like Stayer. Well, I'm not so keen on the old ones. Um... Lintrack, I, I like these. This one's got, is this, yeah, I think this one's, it does. This one's got the rear steering as well. I quite like that. And GPS, so I just want the GPS on there. Yes, I don't actually need anything else other than having the GPS. So we'll lease this one. It's a little bit more expensive at six grand to lease that one. Okay, but it, it, it'll still do the trick. And we should... Yeah, I love that. There we go. Four-wheel steering. That's beautiful. Uh, we should be able to set this one up with the GPS, if I can remember how to do it. And we can use that to um, then set a dead straight line heading down across the map to do the bits that we want to do, to make that one line. If I can plow a straight line down along that little bit of a line that we've set up already, then the rest of it should be able to follow along just fine um we can like use the 
the tree harvester to follow down through and do everything that we want to do down through there. So I'm going to bring that one in along that way like that. That's the direction that I want this GPS to go. Now I've got to figure out how to use it. I think I have got everything set how it needs to be set. I've got lines there and I think I've set it all up now. So all I need to do is do Alt X and that will enable it. And I now have a straight line. I can just keep going through the woods and I think it is going in the direction that I want it to go. So I don't need to worry too much about that now. All I, I can... Actually, I should just be able to leave that. I'm going to turn off that one for a second. Turn off that tractor. I know I'm leasing it, but that will be fine. And then we're going to start working our way down here. Now, I thought that was a slightly floating tree. It doesn't look like it. What I'm going to do to start with is small trees like this. We will just use the chainsaw to get rid of them. Uh press alt to remove them like that yeah okay so I've, I've got that set the small ones we can do that and then the bigger ones we can go and use a tree harvester and I can start we can start working our way through building up something for a bit of a decent width the way down through there um, there's a few stones near the edges here on these trees that we haven't yet removed and i'm gonna do those first so i'm just gonna unfold this one actually it doesn't unfold by pressing x does it it unfolds by pressing z so we will do that and i've got the cut length is still on eight meters and i will leave it at that i think because it's going to be faster for doing the operation uh, we will also go down here and scroll down a little tiny bit. Easy arm controls off on like that. And then it does allow everything to work properly. Um, interesting little bug, that one. I still no idea what mod is causing it. Um, it's not a major hardship, so I don't really care. Um, but eventually, at some point, I've no doubt I will figure out what's causing it. Or someone else will figure out what's causing it and tell me. And then, you know, I, I will tell all of you as well. So let me just turn that one round. Actually, I need to just bring that out a little bit. Okay. There we go. Right, that'll do. And we can lift it, swing it over that way. I'm just going to take out these three trees here, and I'm going to do them this way. And we'll go and chop up the stumps in a minute. We've used the chainsaw to do that. I quite like the fact that we can use the chainsaw to do that. It's quite cool. Um, so there's four logs taken out there and then we can travel on again. I also like that the camera doesn't swing around with us when we're doing this. The camera stays in the same place and we can move. It makes using this a lot easier than in the last like with the Ponzi Scorpion because well I think it did I seem to remember something about it sort of swinging around all the time and it was, it was a bit of a pain um, I didn't o overly care for it did it on something I, I can't remember I don't know whether it was actually the tree harvesters uh, operating like that or not no I can't remember I'm second and third and quadruple guessing myself and it's just not the way to be. Right. Bring you down. So my main aims for the game at the moment for this map is... Well, we're building we're building a town. That's, that's, that's the main thing that I want to do. But I don't want to add in any extra money now. Um, I've got a bit of loan, but I don't really want to get extra loan. Now, I've got tree harvester and we definitely going to be using the tree harvester a bit to generate us some income to start with but we're not going to be doing that all the way through because quite frankly this is going to get very boring and I know for a fact that you're not all going to want to sit around and just stare at that for hours on end 
Uh, I think we can get away with not doing any more trees around here. I will just uh, do that. I much prefer doing this to going over using um, the... Well, actually, the the stump grinder thing is, is not too bad, is it? That's actually a, a pretty reasonable one. That one does seem to do a pretty good job. But it's still a lot easier just to, to go through and, and just do that. I suppose unless we had hundreds of them, in which case it would get rather dull. Um, what else have we got? I'm not going to take any more of these out at the moment. See, there's one over there that maybe we would take out. Actually, let's get rid of that one. We will get rid of it. I'm not going to bother cutting it down with the tree harvester, though, because it's too far away and it's in the wrong direction for where the tree harvester is. And then we can see that we've got a few over here as well. I love this. I absolutely love this. See, there's a few there, so it's just these little ones that I'm going to take out. Just clear them back from our field a little bit. And then the tractor will be able to turn around properly when we come back through again. Put that one out there. And yes, I should probably take that one out just to clear these bits here. But I'm going to leave those. This one's going to go. That one right there. And there will be a few more, I've no doubt. But the rest of them can stay. And that clump there, I actually want to keep that clump. I'd like to keep that clump right there. So we'll go back over this way. And now we can... Now, uh, am I... Oh, right. Every time you get into the machine, you've got to go and just quickly switch that thing backwards and forwards. Like that. If you get out the machine and you get back into it again, you've got to go through and do the easy arm controls. So I'm going to take out... Actually, I'm not going to take out that tree. Or that one on that side, for that matter. We'll, we'll come back to doing that. For now, we'll just take out the trees that are, like, closest to it. So we can... Swivel that one around. Ooh. Okay, I can hear... I don't know if you can hear it in the background, um, but I can hear a tremendous amount of noise all of a sudden. Seems my neighbour is doing a little bit of uh, work on their house. Um, I don't think you pick up very much of it, if it when it does happen. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure, actually. I... I I seem to remember sometimes we, we sort of, um, a, a little bit of it will get picked up, but, but not a huge amount. Right, over here, now there's there's three trees here that are fairly close to what will be this road. It's going to take us a little while to build this road, but I'm, I'm sort of happy to do that because we can, we can put the hired help doing different jobs, and then while the hired help is doing the job, we're working on the road that is going down to the sawmill. And then once we've got our main road built, because like there is a bit of a road that we can go and use, but it feels a bit churlish going along and using that one, doesn't it? Like, I mean, well, I don't know what the rest of you think, but I certainly think so. And there's the noise. I think it is coming. I think it might be coming through a little bit. Well, it is, it is. It's just other people working in the background. Just imagine that they're in game, that's all. Just, just imagine that they're in game. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.